We're just learning at the beginning of this newscast that Sandy Springs has been one of the areas in the metro hardest hit by these storms. CBS 46's Zach Summers is live there right now. So, Zach, what are you seeing? Well, Rick, I just wanted to tell you this one story. Look at this car. It is amazing that there is no damage on it and the person inside was not hurt. And I say that as we look at their driveway, which is surrounded by large trees. The owners who live here, the Finn family, were told, the, the wife, uh, uh, um, she was going to work, headed to work, uh, when this tree, right here to the right, crashed down. As her husband's coming out to get her an umbrella, he hears that tree fall and pushes her and tells, tells her to go back into her car because this tree right here is crashing right where she would have gotten out of the driver's seat to get that umbrella from her husband. And this tree stretches some hundred yards back. Look at, listen to her tell the story. My husband actually was coming to bring me an umbrella and I was about to get out of the car. And um, thankfully he said, get back in the car and close the door. And I closed the door and then that tree came crashing down. So I feel incredibly lucky. Yeah, the wife saying uh, her husband saved her life. Uh, so just uh, 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 lucky that, you know, she got away with her life. And, you know, they have two other vehicles in their driveway that are completely damaged. This area, Sandy Springs, last we checked, Georgia Power was saying some 4,000 customers without power. Several trees and power lines are down. We're live in Sandy Springs. Zach Summer, CBS 46 News. Right now.